up for catch of the tournament. The Brisbane Heat, too good. Brisbane Heat were probably out at the start of the season to prove all those doubters wrong because there was no Beth Mooney. Georgia Redmayne came in and they found their groove and found their way through to the semi-finals. So this year, they might be looking at their doubters again going, we're gonna to have to find that resolve because no Delissa Kimmins, so the stalwart of the Brisbane Heat, she's gone and another big loss for them with both bat and ball is Amelia Kerr. Maddie Green also, the New Zealander, not in the squad as well. So, three big shoes to fill. That will be the big challenge for the Brisbane Heat this year. Oh, the chance! Oh. Kerr loves it, the Heat! They absolutely love it. Definitely one of the most consistent teams over the last three years. They finished third, first and second, and they'll be hoping to continue that form as well. A couple of changes too, and they've managed just to smooth out those bumps, change of coach, change of captain, change of couple of key players as well. But what they tend to do, the Brisbane Heat, they find a way. And I think they'll find a way to make sure they can get through to another semi-finals campaign. Oh. Goes again, and yeah, it's working here for Redmayne. Top of the order for me, Georgia Redmayne. We all spoke about Beth Mooney leaving and who's going to fill her shoes. Well, Georgia Redmayne has come in there absolutely beautifully. Averaged 32 last year, handy strike rate of 118, and was the real foundation at the top of the order. So I can expect her to continue that great form. And now, after her debut last year, a lot of people are saying Georgia Vol as well. And this is huge. Poonam Yadev. There's a massive signing for the Brisbane Heat. Picks that up really nicely. Yeah, I think it's Jess Johnson, not with bat or ball, but with captaincy. She's had a year under her belt. I think she's going to feel a lot more comfortable now with the squad. They understand her style of captaincy as well. So they'll probably try and get rid of that little bit of a hiccup at the start of the season, get straight into the competition. And once JJ gets comfortable, I think everyone's comfortable and the Brisbane Heat should have a good season. Oh, she's gone big. Yeah, wow, wow, and wow.